You know, you know how me and Jeff got actually super, super close. Oh. When we were in, what the fuck are you fucking? How? <laughs> well, let's oh, talk yeah, about how we how. met. Yeah, this is an interesting story. This yeah. is how we met. Uh, we're both from New York. Vince is from the Bronx. I'm from Staten Island. We didn't meet up until we moved down to Miami. Yeah. And well, I think we've just seen each other around in clubs. I would see Cody's fucking. Yeah, because we were blue, like everybody from the outer, uh, the boroughs. We all meet in Manhattan and stuff, and we would cross paths, and we knew had a lot of mutual friends. Yeah. And I heard about Vince. The first actual interaction was at a club in Miami. I saw like a lot of commotion and Vince was on top of somebody just beating the shit out of them. <laughs> Jesus. And I, I was I was interested. I was like, oh, who's this guy? You know, like I went over there and uh, I was like, I was like, I, what did I say to you? Because we became friends right away. I, I wanted you to hang out. In the yeah, club. well, we, I think we knew of each other. We had mutual friends and we were all supposed to go to this club. We also go to the wall in Miami. So I show up and I see this guy. Some shit happened the night before. So I try to approach him and say, buddy, just apologize. And he's like, oh, well, blah, 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 blah. I said, bro, stop stop acting tough because you're not a tough guy. He said, well, go fuck yourself. So I just smacked oh, him and then he swung at me. And I said, oh, all right. I guess we're in a fight. So we started fighting and then uh, the fight breaks up. The guy ends up falling asleep. This is a, he was <laughs> training for the Golden Gloves boxing from a young age. Yeah. So, father, I mean, we'll get into your dad in a few, but his father loved uh, taking him to boxing. He would yeah. sit there with him in the boxing gym. He got me into boxing. Probably, you know, around yeah. early 20s. I stand up. Now, everybody's standing around and these girls go, you're a fucking asshole. And I just was so fucking embarrassed. Jeff's laughing. The bouncers tell me. <laughs> it was Halloween and yeah. I was wasted. The bouncers tell me to leave. So I leave. I come back like 20 minutes later. I said, fuck this. I'm going back in there. I'm sneaking <laughs> in. So Jeff comes out to get me. He walks in. He's like, ah, bro, come on. Fuck, fuck them. Blah, blah, this and that. He's like, oh, we got a table. <laughs> Miami Jeff was so a completely different person. He walks me in, I'm stands me on the table, hands me a bottle. I said, I don't even drink. He's like, fuck it, hold it. I'm standing on the table, and the guy I just fought with comes over, and it's his fucking table. And I go, Jeff, what the fuck is this in here for? <laughs> and he goes, ah, fuck this guy. And I'm like, what <laughs> oh the my. fuck is wrong with this guy? All of a sudden, Jeff goes outside. Hit somebody with a Well, brick. I didn't care. At that time, I did not care about anything. You guys think I don't care about anything now? At that time, he I did really not give didn't a give a fuck, fuck about anything. So I went outside now to get Cody. Cody, you know, we talked about him earlier. Put him up on the screen if we delete that part. Now, Cody was, he loved to do cocaine and drink. And he would he, he would chase it, which one he would get, you know, more of. I think he was on everything in the book that night. I went out to get him and he got into a fight with some group of guys. I think there's like four guys. Um, Cody's a big guy. So usually when he gets in fights, people try to jump him because he's like a big guy to take down. So it's like, yeah. it makes sense. It's normal. You see a big guy like that that's all fucked up. Like you you, you group attack him. Mm -hmm. So they go to group attack Cody. I come in. Uh, I'm clipping him off from the side with, with uh, some uh, side wraps, we call them. What? Let me ask, you don't, when you're going into this now, like you see him, like he's getting jumped. You don't like think in your head, maybe no, one of these no, guys no, like, no, gone, react, I'm going to get react, shot. I react. That, this is the difference. If that, you see your friend getting yeah. jumped, no, you no, react. Put, oh, no. I'm, uh, yeah, obviously, but I'm saying like. I understand what you mean. I do. But I'm saying from a point that when you care about somebody and you have heart, you don't think, oh, what's going to happen to me? It's like, no, I want nothing more than to fucking get involved because I don't. Because I don't want him to get hurt. Let me elaborate. Cody got his head smashed with a brick. He got hit in the head. They threw a fucking brick at his head. And he got busted open. And he had blood coming all down the side of his, his face. I hit a couple guys. He hits a couple guys. They end up running off. But now, Cody wants to go back in the club. But he has blood gushing down the whole side of his face. But it's Halloween. And he's like... Oh Yo, this God. is just my costume, dog. <laughs> and Jesus I'm like, you sure you were? Well, I mean, at the time, I doubt I fucking put much thought of it at all. I, we went right back in the club, and Cody's around dancing around in the club now with real blood and a real open wound, and he's just bleeding everywhere. And this he's is telling people it's makeup, it's makeup. I'm like, this fucking guy's nuts. I mean, that's we just love the action. I saw yeah. Vince got into it, and then we went outside, and I wasn't planning on it, but we got into it too, and that was our first night. And I, I mean, two nights later. Cody and Jeff are coming home and they fucking bang on the neighbor's door for some reason. And this fucking neighbor is this jacked up fucking maniac guy that gets high. So I get a call from some fucking girls that worked in the strip club that somehow ended up living with us. I don't even know how the fuck that happened. You all live together? We all yeah, lived in this yeah, fucking we, one we big penthouse. Miami place. So, uh, not like the way you live with people, like normal stuff, you know? Well, technically yeah. at that time, I was sleeping on the couch. Yeah. I got a call. Yeah, this guy came in here looking for you guys. I said, what do you mean this guy came in here looking for you guys? And now I was, 
I was down in Miami laying low to avoid some other issues. So I'm like, who the fuck came in there? So I called Jeff up. He's on his way back. I called this other guy, these two other guys, actually Roy from across the hall that we're all still friends. And, blurred uh, his face. That we're all, yeah, we're all partners on balance. And then I call everybody up. I'm like, yo, I'm going to just walk up in there and see what's going on. And I was by myself at that point. I'm like, yo, who the fuck is this guy? All of a sudden, I'm looking through the peephole and I see the guy running down the hall like fucking the guy in Troy just running. He's got shorts on. His thigh muscles are sticking out. Whoa. I'm like, holy <laughs> shit. And I'm going to lie. I got scared. I was like, yes, oh, this guy's yeah. going to kick my fucking ass. Yeah. <laughs> so he starts kicking the fucking door like a fucking Viking. Oh, so I'm like, Jesus. what the fuck did they do to this guy? So I just opened the door and had a sh- just reaction. I just went boom. And I nailed them, dropped them. Everybody what? comes running down the hallway at the same time. They're like, get up, motherfucker. I don't know why we didn't just jump him and stomp him out. But I was like, get up, get up. His girlfriend comes out swinging a fucking broom at us. She's screaming in Spanish. The cops fucking come. The guy starts threatening me through the cops. So now every fucking day in this apartment, we're getting groceries. We got to tie our shoes because I'm like, I'm going to run into this fucking guy and his friends. He's going to want to fight again every time we see each other. But that was like a daily occurrence. If fucking we went to park the car in the valet and the valet said, no, Jeff is doing donuts on the fucking grass in the valet. We moved to a new place and we were free to do whatever we want. You know, we got out of our, our... hometowns where you know like so <laughs> everything was like for the jobs, taking like normal jo- or like yeah we worked time? the cashiers at ralph's really? we, yeah i was yeah. a teller in a bank <laughs> how did you get like time off <laughs> no <Nah, I have, laughs> we hustled we figured it out we did what we do what we had to, to do to um to make money and when afford is it so i don't know like when you were like my age like you just got yeah we were your age yeah we were young what am i doing with my life so when we moved to miami we figured you know this is a getaway for us but it ended up actually introducing us to i mean i don't even know how you want to explain these fucking maniacs that we ended up linking up with down there because then it just became a competition on who could be doing fucking dumber shit